Hey friends, welcome to this week's Power Of, and I am so excited today. I am here with Kathy Orman, and she has written this incredible book called The Sugar Switch, and she is going to share with us today a bit of her story, her health journey of getting away from sugar, and uh, she has amazing stuff in this book right here to help you get off of sugar. And Kathy is going to help us figure out how to get off of that and share with us her story. So thank you, Kathy. I'm so happy to have you with us. Well, thank you so much. I'm, yeah. I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, sugar, it's something that's so sweet and it's, it's, we, we have a hard time understanding that it's, mm. it's powerfully harmful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. Yeah. So my journey with, with sugar started a, a number of years ago and I've been a health coach for a few years and I literally had a health crisis because of refined foods and sugar. Mm. And of course, I didn't realize this until I was getting out of it and um, realized that that's what caused it. I was totally amazed. I was eating the standard North American diet, just like everyone else, and I thought it was healthy. And all the refined foods, I mean, who knew? It was mm -hmm. not good. Mm. And uh, so my journey took me through this whole um, learning about uh, sugar and the low glycemic eating instead of high glycemic eating and blood sugar and all that sort of thing. And um, truly, um, I, I was probably pretty close to being pre-diabetic, although it wasn't diagnosed as such. Um, I had systemic inflammation, which is inflammation throughout my body. And when I asked the doctor, you know, how did I get it? She didn't know. Mm -hmm. And how do I deal with it? Well, she didn't know that either. So basically, I was left up to my own devices mm -hmm. to to sort of recover from this, which is which is um, was a good thing because I I definitely needed to go in the right direction, and uh, it's always good to to be determined to find mm -hmm. answers yeah. for sure. So uh, what I learned that the bottom line is what I learned is that sugar and refined foods caused all the inflammation in my mm. system and it was throughout my whole system and what I also learned which is really shocking was that it only took basically three months to clear up hmm. so That's that was awesome. just as shocking yeah. you know yeah. as the whole the whole health crisis right. itself so when I realized that I could get rid of probably about 90 percent of the health issues I had mm. within three or four months I thought, well, I can't possibly be the only person who needs this help. There's got to be other people who've fallen into a similar trap. So that's Definitely. what pushed me into uh, going going out there and kind of sharing my message and becoming a health mm -hmm. coach and writing The Sugar Switch. That's awesome. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. So, yeah. so tell us about what was your health issues? What were you experiencing? Well, um, I didn't realize that my health was going down and down and down until I hit the bottom. So we have this this perception that, you know, something little happens, like we start up here and something little happens and we're down a little bit and we think, oh, well, I'm okay, I can manage that. Mm -hmm. yes. Then it goes down a little bit and, okay, I'm, I'm fine, I can manage that. And we learn to adjust and we adjust mm -hmm. and we adjust. Finally, I was adjusting so much, I got to the bottom and I could not adjust anymore. Mm -hmm. I couldn't hardly get out of bed. I was, I just had no energy. I had, um, I was overweight. Um, I was starting to, the cholesterol level was starting to climb and, there were just a lot of things. I had a virus, actually, a cold mm -hmm. virus, and that was one of the things. I just could not get rid of that cold virus. Mm -hmm. The doctor kept saying, oh, it's it's just a cold. It's just a cold. And it lasted months. And uh, so when she found the systemic inflammation, I guess it was no wonder because I didn't have any energy to fight anything. Mm -hmm. So once I started to change my diet and my lifestyle, the only two things I changed were my food and my exercise. Mm -hmm. That's it. So all I changed. I didn't have any meds. I that was all I changed. And so once I started to have food that actually was feeding my body instead of adding to the toxicity in in my body, then um, my immune system started to come back, and I got rid of the virus. So that was a very big thing. It was wow. it was months of of just being so dragged out. Uh, what else did I have? Um, well, I just I just was not feeling at all well. Mm. So, and that yeah. seems like that kind of thing sneaks up on us. Like you said, you feel a little bit worse and a little bit worse and a little bit worse. And it's not until you start to feel completely better and well again, do you realize how bad you really were. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, like uh, what, um, 
well, the issues I had, I mean, I was gaining weight because I couldn't do anything. So it was mm -hmm. a vicious circle, right? Mm -hmm. I had no energy. I'd get up in the morning, think, okay, I'm good today. I'd have breakfast and I'd be so tired, I'd go back to bed. Mm -hmm. So then I'd get up and have lunch and I'd think, okay, I'm good now. I can do things and I just couldn't. Yeah. So I'd go back to bed. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I'm, I was spending a lot of my time doing nothing. I was sedentary because I had to be. I didn't have any energy, but yet I was still eating you know, all the same foods. Mm -hmm. So it was a real vicious circle. Mm -hmm. It was, it was just, I would, I would have probably would have ended up, you know, three or 400 pounds if mm -hmm. I'd have kept going. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. And you don't realize our bodies are so good at adjusting. We live in these amazing, amazing bio, mm -hmm. bio, biotechnical mm -hmm. machines <laughs> and they adjust. Yeah. Like we, we do something and, and our bodies know how to correct, self correct. And they mm -hmm. keep doing it and keep doing it. And finally, where I got to the point, my body couldn't do that anymore. Mm. It's like, okay, you're done, girl. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It does <laughs> yeah. get to that point where yeah. it's like, I can't take any more. Something needs to change. Yeah, and yeah. So what did you do when you got to that point of, I can't do this anymore, something's got to change? What What did you change? What? Well, I got to the point where, and, and I'm... I, I'm, I have a spiritual belief that, you know, things do happen for a reason, even though sometimes I have a hard time finding the reason, <laughs> yeah. but things do happen for a reason. And mm -hmm. I think that, um, you know, when I need help, I know there is help around me. So I literally said, okay, if, if you want me to be healthy, if you want this fixed, I need help. Mm -hmm. And, and I had no answers. I had like zero answers mm -hmm. seriously. And so it was really through a friend of a friend of a friend. Somebody said to me, oh, so-and-so is teaching this course. Why don't you, you know, call them up and find out what it's all about? And I think this is what it's about. And so I thought, well, it's the only lead I've had so far. <laughs> it's worth a try. <laughs> yeah, I better do something. <laughs> so, so I did. And it turned out to be all about low glycemic eating, which mm -hmm. I had no idea what this was. Mm -hmm. Zero. I had no idea. Low glycemic eating, what? <laughs> you know, so I thought, well, it's okay. It's about food. Maybe it'll help me. So my husband had some issues at the same time too. Yeah. So I dragged him along with me to this health coaching <laughs> course. The, th the two of us took this. It took, it was a three month program and it talked all about um, eating foods that support your body mm. instead of foods that cause issues in your body. So how, what I learned, the biggie that I learned that, I, that I'm teaching people too, is that uh, foods, refined foods and sugar, they cause an immense amount of problem in your system. They, they, the sugar and the refined foods, they're both sugars once you ingest them. Mm -hmm. And they cause your blood sugar to do this. Go up and down, up and down, up and down. And that caused the inflammation. Okay. So I had no idea, but that's what it turned out to be. So once you stop eating sugar and refined foods and anything that turns to sugar like that in your system, then your body will do what it's designed to do. It will keep you healthy and it will heal. Mm. So that's, that's, it took three months to, to turn the, the whole thing around enough for me to get a good grip on healing. So I'm curious, did you just stop eating anything with sugar in it? Just like that or what did you do I wish it was <laughs> it was it was a journey over yeah. the three months we had I had to learn with this program with the help of this program and the knowledge this program presented to me um, I had to learn what high glycemic foods were and why they were high glycemic and what all that meant and why should I stop eating them it's it's it wasn't instant it was it was definitely a journey but it was it, it was almost as close as I can be to cold turkey. Mm, that's <laughs> you know, amazing. Like, yeah, it, it wasn't cold turkey because I think that's almost impossible to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it was definitely, once I had more and more understanding and I realized more and more what this had done to me, mm. then it was like, okay, I need to let that go. I, I can't have that anymore. And it was, within three months, I was pretty much off of um, sugar and most refined foods. And then when my body started to normalize, and actually after the three months, when I did eat sugar, like if I had a donut or chocolate cake or whatever it was, my favorite foods, <laughs> then um, I knew it. Like my body, it was like, wham. <laughs> so what happened? What would happen to you then when you would have it? Well, the next day I would feel like a truck ran me over. It was like, it was like a hangover without mm -hmm. the alcohol. Mm. It was... It was awful. So, you know, when I, when I actually got the message that this is what was happening, 
yeah, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it took, it takes a while. Sometimes you got to go through it a few times and then you're connecting to it and going, okay, yes. okay, I got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I understand. That's yes. not what I need to do yeah. now. Yeah. So it's a journey. It's always a journey. But the first three months were, were amazing to me. And that's what kept me going was the success I saw in three months. Mm. It kept me going thinking, yes, I know that this works because I experienced it. I can't regress. I have to keep going. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's sometimes it's one step back and three steps forward. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's human nature too. Right. You know, yeah. we're not perfect. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's all part of making it a lifestyle. It is. And yeah. and truly that is the key is you have to you have to realize that the changes you're making are not temporary. Mm-hmm. They are lifestyle. And if they're not part of your lifestyle, then whatever caused it will be back. You know, whatever mm-hmm. caused your health issues, it, it'll be back. Mm-hmm. I like the term that you use, like a sugar hangover. And I've heard that from other people as well. And you talk about that in one of your podcasts. Yes. Can you explain that a little bit? What what What's a sugar hangover feel like? Oh, a sugar hangover for me, I think it's different for everybody. But for me, it feels um, headachy and bloaty. Like my mm-hmm. whole digestive system is going, what did you do? <laughs> you know, it's it's um, no energy, like zero energy. I'm so tired. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, I got to go back to bed. You know, it's there's like, it just totally cuts my energy right right the next day. Mm. It's it's like, yeah, it's it's as close as I can sort of figure to an alcoholic hangover, but it's from the sugar. And it's it's not just a headache. It's more. Mm. It's it's gut and it's it's all sorts of things. And it does take a day or two to recover. Mm. But the good news is the longer that you have away from sugar, the longer that you're eating clean without a lot of sugar and without refined foods, then the better your body's getting. And so if you do slip up and, you know, if you're in a social situation where you absolutely can't say no to something and you do have something, then just know that it'll just take a couple days and your body will be back on track. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Don't, don't get on the bandwagon of sugar again. Mm. It's, it's okay just to say, yes, it happened Tomorrow's a new day. So, Kathy, what's one thing that you would say people should look for? A sign, maybe, so that they would know if they are addicted to sugar. Mm -hmm. And if they are, they recognize that, yes, they are, or or that it's affecting their bodies in some ways. How can they make the sugar switch? What's something that they could do today to help them get off of the sugar? Okay, yeah, the, the sign, I would say the biggest sign is energy level. Mm-hmm. If, you have, if you have eaten something sweet, like uh, my favorite go-to was donuts. If, if you've eaten a donut or two or three, like I used to do, your blood sugar is going to climb and you're going to get energy. And then you might notice an hour later, half an hour later, maybe an hour, an hour and a half later, all of a sudden your blood sugar goes like this. And you, your energy level, your whole energy level just tanks Mm. and you just want to sleep you want to crawl under your desk and have everybody leave you alone because you're so tired Mm. you have fatigue you have a headache you have brain fog there's all kinds of these nasty things going on you don't know where they came from Mm -hmm. it came from the sugar Mm. so that's the that's the biggest sign is this blood sugar roller coaster so what happens when when that when you get to the bottom you're going to want to eat something sweet again Mm. so when you do that you got it going all over again, Mm. up and down. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing that you can do to get out of that is just recognize that that was the sugar. And instead of having something sweet, have something that has health value. So what the foods that that you need to eat have real nutrition. They have fiber and they have protein and they have actual vitamins and minerals. Refined foods and sugar have zero nutrition. So what you want to do is go for something that has nutrition. Have carrots. They have a bit of sweetness. Um, Have a piece of fruit. Don't go overboard with the fruit, but have an apple and have some protein with it. Maybe some nuts or um, maybe vegetables and hummus. Or something that's that's got some protein and some fiber that will give you the nutrition you need and actually make you feel like yes I've had good food and I have energy now. So that's that's the quickest way to get out of it. And when you do that consistently, that's what the sugar switch is all about. When you have the right nutrition at every meal and every snack every day, then your body will reset its default mode and eventually you won't need to feel 
like you need the sugar. You won't. It won't be a feeling that I need that sugar. Those Your cravings. body will be wanting the healthier foods. Mm. It's a journey, mm -hmm. but um, that's how you start. And it's one day at a time, one step at a time. Sometimes one one snack at a time. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people have stress, and stress can be a driver. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes it's one day at a time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like that. I like that. Take it one day at a time, one snack at a time, mm -hmm. and just replacing that, those unhealthy snacks, with something that's healthy. I like how you mentioned the fiber and, you know, maybe a, a fruit, but some, you know, healthy fat, some protein, yeah. so that you're satisfying those cravings and what your body's looking for, but not putting more sugar into it. That's right. That's yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Kathy. It was so nice having you. And I'm going to put a link if you want to order Kathy's book, The Sugar Switch, then uh, you'll be able to, to click on that link in the comments and uh, order her book. So thank you very much. Well, thank you. I appreciate being on your, your video. Thank yeah, you very much. Good.